welcome to the session. In this session, we will learn about comparing numbers. Now consider three numbers, 82, 563 and 22,589. Now we have to check that which number is greatest and which is the smallest among these three numbers. For this, we will check the number of digits in these numbers. Now in 82, the number of digits are 2. In 563, there are 3 digits. And in this number, there are 5 digits. Now here, the number with the maximum number of digits is the greatest. So the maximum number of digits are 5. Therefore, 22,589 is the greatest number among these three numbers and 82 is having minimum number of digits therefore 82 is the smallest number among these three numbers now consider numbers with same number of digits that is 4675 and 4982 now in this case we have to check that which number is greater in these type of questions we will first compare the digits at the highest place so here the digits at the highest place are at the thousands place. So we will compare the digits as the thousands place. Now in both the numbers the digit at the thousands place is 4. So now we move on to the next digit which is the digit at the hundreds place. Now in the first number the digit at the hundreds place is 6 and in second number it is 9. Now as 9 is greater than 6, that is, the digit at the hundreds place in the second number is greater than the digit at the hundreds place in the first number. Therefore, 4982 is the greater number. Now let us see how to form greatest and the smallest numbers by using the given digits such that none of the digits is repeated. Now consider four digits 9, 4, 7 and 1. First of all, we will learn how to form the greatest number by using these four digits such that none of the digits is repeated. Now among these four digits the greatest digit is 9 then the next greatest digit is 7 then after this 4 and lastly 1. So here the greatest digit is 9 then 7 then 4 and then 1. So for forming the greatest number we will put the greatest digit at the thousands place 
Then the next point is present at the hundreds place. Then the next at the tens place. And the last at the ones place. Therefore, the greatest number formed by using these four digits such that none of the digits is repeated is 9741. Now let us form the smallest number by using these four digits such that none of the digits is repeated. Now among these four digits, the least digit is 1, then the next least digit is 4, then the next is 7, and the last is 9. So the least digit is 1, then the next least digit is 4, then the next is 7, and the last is 9. So here, for forming the smallest number by using these four digits, such that none of the digits is repeated, we will put the digit which is the least at the thousands place, then the next at the hundreds place, then the next at the tens place, and the last which is 9 at the ones place. Therefore, the smallest number formed is equal to 1,479. Now let us see what are ascending and descending orders. Now the ascending order is the arrangement from the smallest to the greatest. And the descending order is the arrangement from the greatest to the smallest. Now let us see an example for this. In this, we have to arrange these numbers in the ascending and the descending order. arrange these numbers in the ascending order. Now the ascending order is the arrangement from the smallest to the greatest. Now the smallest number here is 571. Then the next smallest number is 847. Then the next is 8320. And the last is 9754. So the ascending order will be from the smallest to the greatest. So it will be 571, then 847, then 8320, then 9754. Now we will arrange these numbers in the descending order. Now the descending order is the arrangement from the greatest to the smallest. So here the greatest number is 9754, then the next greatest number is 8320, the next is 847 and the last is 571. So the descending order will be 9754, 8320, 847 and 571. Now let us move to our next topic which is Introduction to Large Numbers. Now we know that the greatest one digit number is 9 and 9 plus 1 
is equal to the smallest two digit number which is 10 and the greatest two digit number which is 99 plus 1 is equal to the smallest three digit number which is 100. Also the greatest three digit number which is 999 plus 1 is equal to the smallest four digit number which is 1000. Now the greatest 5 digit number which is 99,999 plus 1 is equal to the smallest 6 digit number which is 1 lakh in the Indian system of numeration. Now the greatest six digit number which is 9,99,999 plus 1 is equal to the smallest seven digit number which is 10 lakh in the Indian system of numeration. Now, the greatest seven digit number, which is 99 lakh, 99,999 plus one, is equal to the smallest eight digit number, which is one crore in the Indian system of numeration. Now let us see how to expand a number. Now consider a number 5917. Now here 5 is at the thousands place. 9 is at the hundreds place. 1 is at the tens place and 7 is at the ones place. So the expansion of this number is now as 5 is at the thousands place so it will be 5 into thousand plus 9 is at the hundreds place, so it will be 9 into 100 plus 1 is at the tens place, so it will be 1 into 10 plus 7 is at the ones place, so it will be 7 into 1. So this is how we can expand a given number. Now let us recall the Indian system of numeration. Now let us see this place value table. Now in the Indian system of numeration we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, lakhs, ten lakhs, crores and ten crores. Now consider a number 32654935252. Now we will start from the right. And we will put 2 at the 1's place, 5 at the 10's place, 3 at the 100's place, and so on. So this number is 32 crore, 65 lakh, 49,352. So in words we can write this number as 32 crore 
65 lakh Also, this number can be written like this. That is, beginning from the right, a comma is put after the first three digits and then after every two digits. So in this session, we have learnt about comparing numbers, ascending and descending orders, extension of a number and then the Indian system of numeration. So this completes the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.